it's Daniela, and this week's theme on Wilder Finding Squad is the perks of blank. So today, I'm going to tell you guys all about the perks of living alone. So I live alone in my own apartment. I have no roommates, and I absolutely love it, and there are so many perks to it, and um, yeah. And I've been living alone for about three years. Um, of course, when I'm like not at my parents' house, because you know I go home for I go home for like breaks and stuff to like my parents' house. But like when I'm going to school and all that, I live in my apartment, and it's just me. It's just me here. And um, so yeah, so I just I wanted to I wanted to just tell you all about what I love about living alone because it is not lonely at least I don't find it lonely and it's just it's just so nice honestly um, now before I get started with the video I did want to say that um, I am very lucky and very fortunate to be able to live alone um, and I recognize that and I'm not trying to like brag or show off in any way um, I do not like take that for granted um, I just simply wanted to sit down and tell you all about why living alone is so great <laughs> um, and that's it I'm not trying to like I, I don't know I just uh, just take this video with a grain of salt and I hope you enjoy the video perk number one of living alone is you get to do whatever you want and I'm not saying that when you don't live alone you can't do whatever you want because like you can but you know there's like limitations and stuff and like there's things you have to take into consideration like you know you can't listen to music too loud you can't watch YouTube videos too loudly um, you know if you live in an apartment with roommates you know you have to share the couch you have to share the TV you know you can't have anything you want on the TV at all times because you know you have to share it unless you have your own TV in your bedroom or something. Um, but when you live alone, you can do whatever you want. And also, you can do whatever you want without fear of being judged. And when I was living with roommates in my dorm, um, because I, I did have roommates when I lived on campus my first year and only year of living on campus. Once I was done with that year, I was done with dorm life. <laughs> um, I also did not have good roommates, but anyway. Um, one thing that I, like, I found was, like, I was always afraid that, like, they were judging me or something, and, I mean, they did judge me. <laughs> we're not gonna get into that, though. They were just really toxic, but, um, like, one thing in particular was I always felt self-conscious about like filming videos because like not everyone like understands talking to a camera which is also why I hate like filming in public because like it's awkward I feel like everyone's staring at me um, and I had a hard time like filming videos when my roommates were like in the room because like I don't know I just felt weird about it you know I didn't really know how to explain it to them but now that I live alone, I can film videos in my apartment whenever I want to and I don't feel like I'm being judged and it's great. Perk number two of living alone is you don't have to share anything. Now I kind of touched on this in perk number one, but yeah, you can basically, you can hog the couch, you can hog the TV, like you literally don't have to share anything. You can hog the refrigerator, you don't have to share your food. I mean, like, it's seriously so great. Like, you can, you don't have to share the space with anyone because, like, if you're the only one living in that space, I mean, you have the space to yourself. And I love that about living alone. Like, I, like, I don't have to worry about sharing anything. And it's so nice because I can just, it just makes it easier to just do whatever I want, whenever I want. And it's, it's just so nice. Perk number three of living alone is, the privacy that you get you get tons of privacy when you live alone you know because no one's in the space you know no one else is in is sharing the space with you and you get privacy which is so nice and so amazing you know um, and also um, to top it all off I also live on a top floor apartment which is so nice I feel like I get even more privacy that way because that means that no one can like look 
into my apartment from outside, you know? Um, cause like, they can't, it's, it's too, it's too high up to be able to like look inside. Like, yeah, you can look up and see the windows, but you can't like see inside the windows cause it's too far up. So I love that, um, about living in a uh, top floor apartment as well as living alone. Like I just get like the ultimate level of privacy and it's so nice. And not like I walk around naked all the time. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I mean, some people probably do that. And if you do that, you know, more power to you. I don't do that myself, but you know, it's nice to be able to like change clothes, like literally wherever, you know, I don't have to like, I'm not limited to just like changing like in my bedroom or something. And also, I, I also can keep my windows open all the time, which is amazing because I like to let sunlight in. I like all that natural light, you know, and um, yeah, so it's nice. The amount of privacy you get and that also ties into like, you know, being able to do whatever you want without fear of being judged. Like, you know, I, I have privacy when I like film videos, so like I don't have, you know, people, you know, staring at me so yeah perk number four of living alone is there are no disruptions and you don't have to worry about disrupting others um and this kind of comes with a limitation of course because you know like you do still have to worry about you know not disrupting your neighbors and stuff um but you have more freedom you know like you don't have and you don't have people like disrupting you like like one thing for example is you know um like when it gets late and stuff like i don't have to worry about reducing the amount of light that i have like in the room you know and basically i stay up late i'm a night owl and so like i will be up late watching youtube videos and i don't have to worry about like the light from like the screen you know disrupting someone's sleep you know the way that i i had to worry about that when i had roommates and stuff like you know, negotiating like the lights and stuff because like that can disrupt other people's sleep. Um, living alone, I don't have to do that. I don't have to worry about that. Um, and yes, of course, like as I said, I still have to, you know, not be too loud, which I don't really do anything anyway that would like be too loud, you know. I do like practice violin and stuff but I do that I do that during the day so like um I like I I, I kind of have to because like I'm a music major so like there's nothing really I can do about that but I do that during the day and I feel like you know that's um like doing it during the day isn't as disruptive because people aren't like trying to sleep and you know I, I don't practice at ungodly hours you know I don't do that you know um, but yeah, it's, it's so nice to not worry about, you know, disrupting people and yeah, it's just so nice. Perk number five of living alone is you don't have toxic roommates because you don't have roommates at all. Um, and this one kind of is a personal one for me because I, my roommates, when I lived on campus, they were not very nice. I'm not going to get into like that whole story because it is a very long story and this video would be a million years long if I got into that. Um, I actually did make a story time of it on my personal channel recently. So like, if you wanna hear the story, you can check that out, but it is a very long story, so yeah. But basically, long story short, I had toxic roommates. They were not very nice. And I always felt like I was walking on eggshells around them anytime I walked into my dorm. And you know, my dorm essentially at that time was my home. And if you're feeling like you're walking on eggshells when you enter your home, then that's not, that's not a very good environment to be in. Um, and so now that I live alone, I don't have to worry about that. And that is so nice. And I get that not every roommate situation is going to be toxic. Like I get that a lot of roommates, you know, are, there are good roommates out there. Um, but you know, I was just really unlucky with my roommates. I did go random also. <laughs> so I literally like did not know any of my roommates until I moved in with them. Um, and that I think kind of added to, uh, because like we didn't know each other and stuff. But anyway, 
um, yeah, like, I live alone now, and it's just so nice because it's just me. It's just me, and I can do my thing, and I never have to worry about walking on eggshells, so, yeah. Perk number six of living alone is you have a safe haven. Um, my apartment is, it's my safe space, my safe haven, it's my place that I can retreat to, um, and it's so nice because, like, it's it's safe here, you know. Um, just like the other, just like the the toxic roommate, the like the toxic roommates, like that was not a very safe um, place for like my well being. And not that like it was unsafe in the way that things got physical. And there was nothing like nothing physical happened. It was all just you know um, they were just toxic. They um, and living with them was not good for my mental health. And so now that I have like this safe space, it's like, it's my safe space, it's my safe haven, it's my little humble abode, and you know, I can basically count on, you know, I can walk in here and just feel completely safe, you know? And, um, and it's so nice, it's so nice to like have a place that I can retreat to, and also, you know, like I have a place where, you know, if I need if I'm if I'm not you know um, if I'm if I'm not feeling my best and I need to like have a good cry or something, I mean this is a good place <laughs> to do that. And yeah, so it's just nice to have like a safe space that you can just retreat to anytime you need to. So yeah, perk number seven of living alone is you can decorate however you want. And yeah, when I looked at my dorm, like, yeah, I, I decorated like my side of the dorm, but you know, like I couldn't decorate the entire dorm however I wanted because like I was sharing it with three other girls. Um, so yeah, and I actually was really proud of the way that I decorated my dorm, um, or my side of the dorm. Um, but now that I live in an apartment, I don't just have like one side to work with. I can decorate the entire apartment however I want. And so as you can tell, you know, by my background, you know, I have a lot of purple in my background. That is something that is, there's a lot of in my apartment because purple is my favorite color. Um, and not only that, but also like I have a bunch of like 